What's going on you guys? Uh, how to vlogs here. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, change the uh, transmission fluid on the uh, 1997 Acura CL 3.0. It's a V6. Um, so I already have the car up on the uh, ramps right now. The reason why I have the have it like that is so that the uh, transmission fluid can actually drain a little bit easier. Um, yeah. So what you want to do is get under the car. This. Here's the uh, transmission, and that's the drain plug right there. So you want to get um, a square thingy like that. I'm not really sure what it's called, but um, when you drain it, it's about four quarts of uh, transmission fluid. You put the four quarts back in, and then if you want to do a flush, basically what you want to do is like, basically what you want to do is um, if you want to do a flush, you want to um, Drain the transmission fluid, put new transmission fluid back in, drive about five miles, come back, change it again, and do that step about four times, and it'll be completely, you'll flush the whole system. So, if you want to do that, you can, but I'm only going to be changing the, the fluid. And also, by the way, there is no filter that can be changed. The uh, filter's actually internal, which is not changeable. So, I just want to let you guys know. I'll be right back with you guys once I get a wrench for that thing. Basically, uh, the tool that you want to use is a 3-8 um, socket, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'm back, guys. Um, so basically, I did have to use um, this thingy. I, I took it off the jack, but see, I'm, I, I got it. Now, basically what I'm going to do now is just take it off. Hopefully, this doesn't burn me. That will be kind of scary. I know I'm not a real mechanic, but... I like to work on cars. I'm pretty good at it, I say. But I just have a hard time knowing the tools are called. So, what you want to do is get a oil pan, whatever, drain it into. So, in just a second. There we go. Yeah, and I'll let that drip for a minute. And I'll... Alrighty, guys, I'm back again. So, when you take off the... There's a magnet on the end, and you want to clean that. Because, as you can see, there's a lot of metal stuff from the... Alrighty, guys, I'm back. So, I forgot to put this in the video, but... I already have it done already. I completely forgot, but... Right down there is the top of the transmission. You want to take off this... Bolt. There's a washer you need to be very careful of not to lose. Um, so this, oops. So this side is the top side where the where this goes on top, just like that. And then the bottom side is where it touches the transmission. But well, you can kind of tell. But yeah. So yeah. So I already have that all complete. You want to use like this transmission. It's a uh, when you go to the parts store and you ask them for like ATF Z1 or DWD1 um, for your car, that's what your car takes. But what the shop is going to give you or the parts store is this automatic transmission fluid ATF. It's uh, somewhere on here. Yeah. So you recommended for most GM, Ford, Toyota, and Honda models. You're adding them in. Just want to go like this. Put it right in like that. Let it drain. Eye on that down there. 